Hey. So, just checking. We have sound. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we, I'm in Dublin currently, so today's content is going to be another vlog. And I'm in Dublin for the funeral of my grandmother who died uh, yesterday, yesterday morning. So I had thankfully travelled up to Dublin to see her. She went into the hospice slash hospital uh, the day before and myself and my mum and my sister had travelled up to see her. So we did get to see her. We were actually the last ones of the family, I think, to see her. And we got to see her and she recognised us and it was it was really good to do that and to make sure that she heard that, you know, we love her and all those things. And she was dead the next morning, basically, which is yesterday morning. So I travelled up yesterday and uh, myself and my mom are up in Dublin staying at my aunt's and I just, I don't know, I wanted to maybe give you a little insight. I was talking to my friend Brianna and she is from California and living in Waterford and she was saying that she didn't really understand Irish death or burial kind of customs and she'd only really seen it in movies. So I thought I'd just give you a brief rundown of what we're doing so that maybe, you know, you don't have to see it in movies and um, you just kind of understand the process. So there is a difference in Ireland now between urban and rural death customs. So in, in the countryside, people kind of stick more closely to the older traditions. And in, you know, Dublin or Cork or Limerick, they're, they're less likely to do things in a, in a more kind of traditional way. So in Ireland, funerals are quite uh, long, maybe drawn out affairs. We have a couple of days, it's not fast at all. Um, we have a couple of days of uh, usually kind of setting up and letting people maybe get home or people who have to travel because everybody comes to funerals. We are very, you know, people we all take time off work. We all, you know, even if it's like the friend of a colleague or, um, you know, everybody in the school will go if like if a student, I suppose that's kind of normal. Um, but, you know, even, no matter how kind of connected you are, you go to the funeral, if at all possible, to be there in community with the family, basically, and to show your support and to to grieve and to to show up you know and and that's that's a really important part of death in Ireland that, that we show up for each other but a lot of people can't actually get to the actual funeral and they will uh, come usually the night before so what's what's happening with us is she died yesterday morning uh, the undertakers took her away and, you know, prepared the body and did all that kind of stuff that used to be done in houses, but obviously it's done professionally now. And we, she will be arriving back to her house today. Uh, so the next day and she'll, she'll get there about two o'clock and then there's like, there's a wake in the house. So the wake can be one day, it can be two days, it can be, you know, it could be three days actually in some places. And the wake is where the the person who has died is in in the coffin, in repose, usually um, in like a living room or sometimes a bedroom or a parlor or something, whatever, whatever is available in the house. And people come in then and pay their respects. So the family is kind of sitting with the body and you know talking and eating and drinking and you know trying to it's it's as much about remembering their life as grieving their death okay so it's a lot of stories and a lot of laughter um it's not hugely somber and then there'll be a couple of hours when it's open to the public and the public just means anybody kind of outside the immediate family who who wants to come a death notice goes up on rip.ie 
and we have like a lot of local radio stations around the country that still do the death notices every day and people tune into them faithfully and there is so there's there's notice that um that the house is open and people come in then to the wake and pay their respects they'll often bring food or you know a drink non-alcoholic or alcoholic and just basically come and, and show support for the family so we'll have a couple of hours of that tonight and then the same then again tomorrow she has and like the wake continues for tomorrow so again there'll be however many hours where the house is open to the public and people who can't make it on the Thursday will have made it on the Friday then and then oftentimes the body will go from the wake the house to directly to the church for the funeral and then to be buried after that uh, or um, what my Nana wanted was to have a removal to the church. So on Friday night, she's going to go and they're going to do a small service. It's not a mass it's or a funeral. It's it's just a like a, a kind of recognition thing in the church. Now, I won't be I won't be attending any of the church parts. I made a vow a long time ago to boycott and it's kind of based on I guess, and based on my spiritual stuff that, you know, I do not support the organization, the, the evil cult empire that has caused so much damage to my country. So, but it is a huge part. It's still very much an institution within Irish social uh, life. So I won't be at the church service personally or the funeral, but I will be obviously at everything else around that. So... After the removal, she stays in the in the church for the night and then very early Saturday morning um, because she lived in Dublin, but my family is from Clare, from East Clare. So she's going to be buried down in East Clare and we're going to travel early Saturday morning down to Clare, about a three hour drive. And there's a, a like a funeral home in the village uh, in Clare and that will be open then as well the casket will be open uh, down there for people locally there to pay their respects as well who obviously didn't make it up to Dublin for the wake and from there then the coffin gets carried it's only up the road from the church so it gets carried uh, up to it's like six family members carry it and sorry it will be closed obviously in the, <laughs> the funeral home um, and then carried, not carrying an open coffin. I'm trying to put in details because what's kind of normal for us may not be normal for other people. And I'm not sure how other countries do death and burial traditions. I've heard it's quite different. So um, then there'll be the funeral service in the church and then go to the graveyard and usually in the hearse and drive out to the graveyard and the big long you know, funeral procession and all that if the church was in walking or if the graveyard was in walking distance of the church then the coffin would just be carried out obviously but this one is not so and then there will be a meal uh, and that the family puts on um sometimes it can be just like finger food sandwiches you know a designated place to kind of meet and gather and sometimes there's a full you know sit down meal for everybody who uh, attended the funeral so I think it, it'll depend on what facilities are local and all the rest of it. So um, we have we have all that to look forward to basically over the next couple of days. So I I know tomorrow is the last day of our content challenge. Please, please forgive me if I don't get uh, the very last day up. I, I I'm, I'm, I'm actually really going to try just because, you know, I said I was going to do 30 days and tomorrow is the 30th day and I've done every day so far. So um, I will try and get something up, but uh, it could be just a, you know, shaky vlog of me crying and um, you'll see, sure. So for Margaret, your time and your attention, and hopefully that was useful to you if you were not aware of how the Irish do 
funeral traditions of death and burial. Sloan. <laughs>